Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today. will be super helpful video guys to any vehicle having a Ford C Max or a Ford Escape Generation 2012 to year 2018-19. And if you need to remove or replace rear wheel bearings, stay with us, we'll explain how to do that. It's exactly the same for both vehicles because even the part numbers are the same and the same bearing has been installed on Ford uh, C Max and Ford Escape as well. Now, uh, before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return guys please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you need to buy any parts tools uh, for your Ford guys and you want to save quite a bit of money get them for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and parts from so let me show you what we have here specifically uh, this is the old bearing and the new bearing right here okay you can see this is old bearing okay that is uh, short that's a new one we have a special video that explains okay what wheel bearing noise sounds like on ford and how to find out practically if it's bad so uh, check it out so let's go ahead and start on it now so first step we'll need to remove the rear wheel now we jack the vehicle up okay with the jack and we put jack stand as well always use a jack stand because if one single seal fails in that jack guys what will happen okay you are going to be crushed under the vehicle so always use jack stand now we have uh, the tool here we're going to remove the wheel wheel nuts and uh, then we can remove the wheel let's see if it's going to come off easy because we personally have not removed it in a long time and as a result guys what can happen okay it can get stuck to the hub but i think i just saw it move so that's a good sign perfect now <coughs> right here i want to show you how bumpy the tire is okay there is a problem <coughs> and this is most likely due to a bad bearing or bad alignment check this thing out okay you can see that most likely guys it's a bad bearing or bad alignment on your vehicle right there so that can create quite a bit of noise as well okay uh, because uh, <coughs> actually uh, you can see the tire okay it has low and high spots okay i'm trying to focus on that okay you can see low high spot and that can create noise as well you can see practically you have low and high spots on this one so we can get it out of the way and we can continue with the next step so next step uh, we're going to get here zip ties okay uh, heavy duty zip ties will work really good uh, because uh, we'll need to remove the uh, the brake caliper and when you remove that brake caliper you don't want to let it hang on the brake line because you can damage it lose your brakes and you can get in a serious accident so uh, now on the back side we have a couple of caps okay that you remove dust caps and uh, one on the bottom side here as well okay you can see right here now inside we have a Allen wrench which is okay this one is uh, what is that on six millimeter i believe okay i'm trying seven millimeter Allen wrench yep perfect seven millimeter Allen wrench and we're going to go ahead and get that bolt loose now all right now <coughs> i know this that it started spinning right here so let me see if everything's good yep it's coming off and this one you can pull it out okay perfect now we're going to remove the bottom one okay you can see what we're talking about right there you can get the idea so 14 max and uh Ford Escape guys okay that generation from year 2012 to year 2018-19 uh, they're practically built on the same platform so almost all of the procedures for repairing suspension uh, will be about the same some of the, even the engine components will be about the same because <coughs> unless you have a different model but most of them will be that way always very fine now we need to remove the spring okay right here for the okay for the brake pads now we can slide this one out gently slide it out okay it will be stuck but you just need to move it around and it will eventually come out because you have a wear on the lip sum 
Now we need to be careful because we have the springs for the pads there, so... Okay, let's see. Okay, this wiggle with a little bit and it comes out. Make sure the emergency brake is not on at that point. You need to have the front tire supported so the vehicle doesn't roll on you because otherwise you will not be able to, uh, to remove them. Let's see. I want to see, okay, that cable is what is causing the trouble, guys. Okay, that cable is putting quite a bit of pressure. That's for the emergency brake, okay, for the hand brake practically. Uh, so <coughs> we need to make sure, okay, we need to come on this side first because there is quite a bit of pressure there. And I was thinking maybe we can disconnect it if we have to and our brake pad just fell. So we need to see, okay. It's, it will be good. It's just the lip right here that didn't allow us Okay to come out. So we're going to <coughs> Go ahead and tie it now Right here, so it doesn't Just hang on the brake cable brake line Okay, just like that so we can continue with the next step now next We're going to get WD-40 rust penetrating spray. We're going to apply where the rotor meets the bearing the hub okay let's go ahead do that to make sure we didn't spray some on the camera so you can see clearly okay we will let it soak now we need to uh, find actually guys okay let me come on this side we need to find okay tools that will fit right here so we can remove the bracket for the brake okay the one on top right here and the one over here so i believe this is a 13 millimeter ford likes to use i think uh, 10, 13, 15, 17, quite often I've seen uh, now suspension. Everything looks good, a little bit rusted, but not bad at all. So let's find the two. Okay, and we'll continue. So, 13 millimeter. Okay, not like that, not like that. Let's get the bigger two if we have to, or because it's going to come loose. Okay, and we're going to round the board, and we're in big trouble. We need to buy a new board. Okay, so that's what we're working on now. That's the battery tray for your car. Okay, if you have a C-Max, that's your battery tray right here. So this board is coming loose now. We need to do the one on top. And then it will come out. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's do the one on top now. We'll find the torque specs and we have the torque specs for the rear brakes as well. So you know what to do. Perfect, came out. Now let's continue with the next step. So <clears throat> now that bearing guys, okay, I want to show you, okay, I'm gonna get the microphone closed so you can hear that bearing. Okay, you can hear practically short. We remove brakes and any contact points. So there is nothing that the disc will be touching. Listen to the noise when we spin it fast, listen now. That bearing is done guys and when you go fast that creates that humming, rumbling noise. So uh, definitely guys it can actually even wear out your tire. Okay, uh, we showed you the tire when we removed it. Okay what it looks like but you can see how we have low and high spots. Okay, high spot, low, high, low. So that's from that uh, bed bearing and having play in it as well. 
So now the wheel bearing guys, yeah, so okay the bolts you can see them right here. Let's spray them with penetrating spray now so, so we can break that rust loose. Okay, let's spray everything really good. Okay, four bolts. Well, you can see the one over there. Okay, this one is okay right there. So now uh, what I'm going to do, I want to get underneath and show you exactly. Okay where the bolts are which will not be easy but you will okay see some of the bolts right there one two three four bolts and there with reverse torques socket like that okay let me focus it quick let me grab it on the other hand okay like that we'll put the link in the description of the video below ours is size okay size 14 so if you need to buy one we'll put the link in the description of the video below let me pass the camera now okay so I can hold with two hands and try to okay get it loose now so uh, let me see what we can do about that now okay I dropped the socket here so it won't be as easy as you think so I might need to get two extensions so I can get to that point. Let me just get everything there. Let's see if I will have enough room to actually turn it here. Okay, perfect. Now. Let's see if that one is gonna come loose because he doesn't want to. No. Yes, please enjoy. So we got one loose. No, I'm working on another one. Okay, this one's loose too. Those are super tight, guys. Okay, super tight. So just trying to find the spot. Okay, we had to jack the car up a little bit more so we get more room. If you have a lift, it's definitely more convenient. Now let me see for here for the next one. I think we are going to need. Okay, almost nothing. Maybe a small, very short extension, we'll see for the other two, uh, we'll get it there. Okay, and we'll show you what we're doing, so... Let me see if I can just get directly. So, without almost any extension, just with a different sizing. Okay, and this one can lose as well now I will need to uh, turn okay the socket corner revolution so it can fit here and I watch through the spring hole okay and this one is loose too now let's see the bottom one the bottom one is a little bit more challenging okay but it did come loose now right here okay let, let's show you Careful not to hit the, that's the plastic, the EVAP system pipe, because if you do, okay, what can happen? You may need to replace it, because those are easy to crack, guys. That's the EVAP system. So, I'm trying to see where exactly it was. We got it loose, so all we have to do now, just remove the four bolts and continue. So just using the ratchet now, okay, once you get them loose, break them loose with the breaker bar, the ratchet itself is enough. Uh, you have to be extremely careful not to break your ABS sensor, there is thread locker on those two. You can see we removed two of them, two more to go, okay, and things get a little bit interesting now for uh, the last two, I need to get a short extension so uh, that's what we will need to do here because the long one okay hits the spring and I cannot go through the spring so something like that okay should do it okay yep it's going slowly So now 
You got, it, it might get a little bit tight again. If you have rust on the bolts outside, spray them with penetrating spray again, let them soak. Because if you hit a rust spot, you might need to start getting them tight. Like two revolutions, clean the bolts, spray them with penetrating oil and start taking them loose again depending on how old your car is how exposed it is to salt snow ice okay all these things but from what i can see okay this one now got loose So it should be any minute and this bolt probably will come off too. Ah, come on. I thought it would come off and it didn't. So it needs a little bit more and you cannot turn it by hand, especially the back ones. Because everything is so close there. Okay, let me see. Third bolt came out. One more to go. Now. This one. Okay, let me see how I'm going to access. Let's stop the camera light for a second. Okay, turn the light off the camera because... Okay, not see the bolt. Okay. It's going now. It's going super tight, by the way. I should have left one of the top ones, the easy ones, for last. So we don't have all the weight on that board, unfortunately. I did not do that. So just slowly going. Okay, it just got a little bit easier, okay. But my hand got a little bit tired. Let me see how much we have left. Not much, it's almost even now. <laughs> it looks like always the one that's the most inconvenient, it's the one that doesn't go okay so easy guys. Okay. Now it should be in because it got easier. So probably I don't have thread locker now, just a little bit of rust. Come on, it came off. The socket. Okay, let me see if I can unscrew it by hand. Almost, but no. Ah. So just a little bit more. So I'll try to go with the extension and the socket, but without the ratchet now. Oh, 
Okay. No, not yet. That's it. Number four. And let's see if the thing will come out now. Okay. Okay, the ABS wire. We need to disconnect it. So, now let me see right here. We need to press down and pull it out, but we have something on the back. Okay, let me see what it is. No, that just, okay, that's fine. Give it here. Okay, right here, all we have to do just access. Okay, pull now. Pull, it's going to come out. Okay, don't forget to put your plate later, the right way, because you'll be doing the job again. This is your ABS sensor, that's the old bearing, okay, that's crap right here, guys. So, now, right here, guys, okay, this is the ABS sensor. Most of the times, the new ones will come with ABS sensor. We'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from. That's the new bearing, it's, a, it's amazing. I think it fits both left and right side, practically. So I think it's the same bearing, but always verify that. So in our case, we don't need to replace the ABS sensor. If yours doesn't come with ABS sensor, you need to remove that bolt, get it off and install it on the new one. Uh, now you can see the old bolts, all of them had thread locker, right? Okay, that's the thread locker right here. So you need to uh, get thread locker. That's the blue one that we use. Find the specs for your car, but that's the uh, blue one. I'll put the link in the description of the video below where we got ours from. Uh, clean your bolts really good, okay? Uh, just uh, get uh, a wire brush, clean them a little bit, or uh, use uh, rubbing alcohol, and then uh, apply thread locker and just install everything together in reverse order. We took it apart. You will need to compress the brake caliper in order to install the parts. We have a video that explains how to compress brake caliper on a f uh, rear brake caliper on Ford, so please check it out. It will be on our channel. Hopefully, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching, and see you guys next time.